You're watching The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building. A very beautiful woman who's never on time. Never. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica White is Late here. twice. <laughs> hey, Jessica. <laughs> never. Never on time, But Jessica, Jessica. Wait, say good morning. No, good morning, guys. Today wasn't my fault, but no excuses. I'm really sorry. My my Uber driver was 15 minutes late. I even stayed in the city just last night, night just so that I could be on time, and then my ass was still late. So where do you stay any other time? Well, I'm normally um, in the Bronx with my sister because I don't gotcha. live in New York anymore. I live in L.A., so mm -hmm. my family's here. So I stay with my, my family when I'm in town. So when's the last time you had an orgasm squatting? <laughs> that's uh, how we gonna start oh well actually two weeks ago really i was so, at the gym it's consistent for me wow so that's your thing like you got like a piercing down there or something like no it's nothing like that it's not even really sexual it's um just having control and then using my yoni egg and working out that could be kind of dangerous though like you go down for a squat and you start orgasm you start shaking you could drop the weights on you're yourself you're so funny it's not even you're actually um lying, lying down when you're doing it it's kind Squats? of like a well, it's a do you want a demonstration? Kind of... This sounds like you do. <laughs> I mean, I just read squats. So I'm thinking. No, it's you, know? you can do it a few different ways, but the ones I'm talking about is actually mm. laying flat on your back and doing um, pull ups with your thighs. Mm. So, so it's more so uh, your bottom strength. So do you ever exercise because you want to have an orgasm? Like you know, well, what? it this started. Is my it started actually six years ago when I was going through a breakup. Mm -hmm. And you just doing mass squats. You know, I started working out to <laughs> release stress, and and it just happened out the clear blue. And that's what I was trying to say. Now you're addicted to working out. Yes, I love it. Have you always, <laughs> always been that skinny, or do you have to work? No, out? just my natural build. My really? father has the same body type. Wow. Yeah, Jessica has always been like beautifully thin, and she still has her curves and everything. Yeah, so. I mean, always. I'm, everybody asks if you have to like diet. No, I, I eat whatever I want. So you're, you're a beautiful woman. You you're, you're in shape. Why can't you find a man? Why well, are you on this show famously singing? Maybe, well, you know what? She might not be looking for a man. She might be looking for a woman. Now, can she answer this question herself? Because people always assume you can't find a man. It might just be the men that you've been with just haven't been the right ones. Well, no. I've had really good men. I had the commitment issues. And oh. I will push them away. And so that's the difference. I wanted to go on the show to kind of, because I never really talk about my personal life. And mm -hmm. I keep a lot of things very quiet. But I wanted to go on and combat some of the rumors that I've never denied before. Gotcha. And then I ended up going on the show and realizing that I had major commitment issues. And it's still a fear of mine, but conducive to the way I grew up. My sisters were in, they were married at like 18, 19. Wow. And that's kind of traumatizing, especially when they didn't have good relationships. Mm -hmm. And so I was always fearful of, you know, like if I have the same blood flowing through my veins as them, maybe I could be that girl. So... Mm -hmm. I'm going to start modeling, make a lot of money, and just, you know, live my life the way I want to and be in control of it. Mm -hmm. So it was more so a control thing. But I've had really amazing men. It was me that was the problem. Those yeah, glasses got, are annoying. I don't know which lens to look at. I don't know if those I third eye glasses. It's the third eye glasses. I like those. I like those. Thank those you. I don't know which eye to look at. It's very like like I, I love it. Like I like that. <laughs> you got your third eye open. I like that. I do. Now, do you yeah. like women? Because I've seen in the uh, promo that you were kissing Samaya Reese. Mm -hmm. What was that about? Uh, we were just kissing. Okay. okay. <laughs> what do you mean, Good just answer. kissing? Are you a lesbian? Right. No, I'm a woman that likes to have fun, and I'm very honest with people. So what was that situation you like? Hey, kiss me, and that just went that way. Yeah, more like a try. Try, willing yeah. to try anything. Uh, yeah, exactly. Gotcha. For the moment, it's always a moment thing. But mm -hmm. you know, I love men. Right. You know, well, penis, now the show say. is called Famously Single, mm -hmm. right? And I also saw on the show that you were also kissing Willis McGahey. Yeah. You're going to get herpes on your mouth. You <laughs> you're going to get a type A cold sore if you just keep going around kissing Shut people. Now, you didn't, feel, you didn't look at him and say, wow, because I, I was watching the first episode. He has eight kids. And by seven, seven baby mamas. Women. Well, it was just a kiss, guys. I didn't go and marry the guy. No, of course not. No, and, and that was one of the issues. Like, um, it was going to be fun, but y'all yeah, trying to get me out there. I don't, they're great people. They really are. Mm -hmm. but you too pretty I to have a cold sore. I wouldn't shut <laughs> up. <laughs> but you. I wouldn't consider, you know, um, being with someone who has eight kids in, right. in That's what you know, long you. term, a... not yeah, long term, no. just sex. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you a piece of advice don't kiss somebody with eight kids, just have sex with them. You are so just stupid. How was it for you living you. in a house with all those people? Um, well, I grew up in a house of 13. Ooh, 13, but that yeah. was your family. These were kind of, yeah, but I and I'm you... but I'm extremely a loner, even when I was with 13 people, so I know how to block people out. 
Jeez. And that was one of the biggest problems because that's when I started realizing that I do have like, a, I like being alone. I'm a loner mm -hmm. and I'm socially introverted. So it was challenging. They took my cell phone away from me because I would be on the phone and I was talking to the guy that I was in love with at the time quite often on the phone. Where do you fall in that order of 13 kids? I'm the youngest. I'm the baby. Wow. Um, and you said <laughs> you fell in love. So you fell in love a lot. No, I've only been in love twice in my life. Really? Was that with Sean Penn and Nick Cannon? That was, well, Sean, I love Sean, mm -hmm. um, but I, I wasn't in love with Sean. But I, I definitely learned a lot from him. He's in a. Uh, we have guy. a list of guys that you dated. I mean. You don't have a list of. Grayson, <laughs> Solomon. You, you tell me what you think. <laughs> <laughs> He's so stupid. <laughs> but no, definitely Sean Penn and Nick Cannon. How do you know I dated Nick? Um, I read that somewhere. Well, actually, the interns did the research. I had no idea that you dated Nick. <laughs> the interns did the research and said you dated Nick Cannon. Oh, okay. Is that true? I have no idea. I mean, the interns would know. <laughs> let, me see if, let me see if they cited their sources. It says, being that you dated Nick Cannon while he was separated, what were some of the difficulties dating a man that was legally married? Damn. <laughs> She's looking like, where the intern like, where at? Where the intern at? <laughs> right. <laughs> that bitch, where is she? <laughs> he was a guy. It was, I think it was a guy. Oh, the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> but, so you and Nick never dated? No, we're friends. Okay. But John Legend, I saw that on the show. That was actually on the show. It oh, says, it was? Yeah, yeah well, I did a shot, uh, John. You were in his video, mm -hmm. which is actually pretty sexy because that was a great song. So Yeah, it's such a beautiful song. Yeah, but his song. wife now ain't going to like that. Every time that video comes I'm out, I'm friends like, Turn with, in. no, I'm friends that with Chrissy. That was way before oh, really? her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was years and years ago. Okay. He was like 26. This was his very first album. I was 21. Mm -hmm. so now, was, yeah. now, are you on the show because you want to find a man? No, that's not why I went okay. on the show. I was in love when I went on the show, and I was very clear about that. Gotcha. It was you more... was in love, and you were still kissing those people on the show? Yeah. I didn't. <laughs> what? Because we weren't together. That's why it didn't work. No, we... no, no, we oh. weren't together. Oh, okay. We weren't together. So you're going to have to make him mad? Like, I'm going to go on this show. No, because he didn't even know I was doing the show. So was it supposed to be a secret that you were doing it until they announced it? Or... No. It, well, he knew I was doing a show, but he didn't know that. I was doing that kind of show, um, and I didn't feel the need to tell him because we weren't together, right. and I was still trying to figure it out. I don't have to share everything with you until I figure out what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. you know? I was surprised when I saw that you were on the show because I do look at you as a very private person. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, Jessica's going on the show. We get to see a little bit. But of... you don't really get much. You right. just get to see my personality, and I think that was one of the goals for me was for people to see that I'm really down to earth and chill because I think everybody thinks I'm like this extravagant diva and I'm really not mm -hmm. anything like that. You mean you know that. Yeah, I know People that. People who know that, who know me, but you have to get to know me first. And Jessica's actually that. really a fun person. We were in the Bahamas for a wedding. Oh, yeah. Did and you kiss her? <laughs> that's private. We said whatever happens in the Bahamas stays in the Bahamas. Okay. Right. Right. What, what about preference? Do you like uh, white men over African American men? I love really intelligent men in gotcha. general. I'm a sapiosexual. Yeah, I so even, you said I, that well, you're clearly I wouldn't be your type. Explain, I don't even know what that means. Now, for Envy, <laughs> explain for the people who don't know what is the sapiosexual. It's um, I'm just really uh, you can turn me on sexually by how smart you are. Okay. I like I being believe mindful. that because you out here having orgasms and you squatting. And that is definitely mental. I quote "Seated the Soul" by Gary Zukav. You might cream all over yourself. Just might. Just might. <laughs> now you also said that when you meet a guy and you talk to him, you can tell if you want to <laughs> him immediately. That's true. But that's most women, though, right? I, uh, everything, I think it's every single woman. See, I've never felt like that because I feel like I have. I don't know. I might look at somebody and talk to them and think, okay, he's cool. But it takes me a little more time to feel like I know if I want to do that or not. Yeah. Yeah, it does. I know instantly. How do you know? Just by talking to you. Like, give me 10 minutes for talking to you, and then I, I know if we're going to have anything in common or not. See, I be telling dudes don't talk, because I feel like as soon don't as we talk. open our <laughs> mouth, <laughs> as soon as we open our mouth, we ruin it. You, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, you might see me and be like, damn, I want to have sex with him. As well, because I, I think, talking, well, it, first of all, first and foremost, men are automatically thinking they want to screw you, too. You know? matter So what. it, it doesn't really matter. That's the first thing that they're looking at. They mm -hmm. don't give two if you're smart or not. They don't care about that or your substance or your morals and your ethics until... You've been hurt before. No, I can tell. No, but she's true. No, no, no. I haven't been hurt. Hello? I'm just, just being honest. Oh, you got a real dad. Your dad put you on the And he's very early. Malcolm X kind of guy. Mm. My brothers, were they were like, listen, you don't fall in love until a I'm man like falls in love. Too. And you have to be. You, you really have to be. My <laughs> father... Dirt but my father here. died at, um, when I was very young. So my sisters and my brothers were very, very open and very blunt with me mm -hmm. about how you deal with men. I've not 
I've literally been in love twice. Mm. That's just not something I, I go around doing. But you should oh, never man. fall in love. Anytime you fall, you get hurt. Like if you used to walk out here right now and fall, you'd hurt yourself. You should grow in love with people. I agree with that. I don't I like that term, that. fall in love. I, I'm, I'm with that. But you it just needs- can't make yourself grow. I mean, if you fall, you can fall for a person. You don't want it to happen. It just happens. Yeah, you fall for a person, but you don't fall in love. I think you fall in love at first, and then you learn how to maturely live in it. There you go. Now, do, what happened that if you were in love two times that those situations didn't work out? Well, was it on you? one was going through a divorce, mm-hmm. <laughs> and you know, Salute to Nick Cannon, what's up, my G? What's <laughs> and you can't really Wilding do much with that. that. <laughs> and um, and the first one, we were very young and uh, very overly passionate with each other. Mm-hmm. What's that mean? Like having sex everywhere? No, just you know. He's got pride. I've got pride. We don't know how to communicate. We're both making a lot of money. He's on the road. I'm on the road. We're, it just wasn't good timing. And I still really love him. Mm-hmm. So would you rather date like a loser? Like somebody who isn't I've doing dated as much losers. as you? <laughs> I've dated losers. And that's, you, and then you find a problem with that because then they feel, you know, emasculated by the fact that Insecure. you make more money yeah. than them. And it's, you know, it's a lose-lose situation. I think what you have to do is just, organically allow the universe and God to bring you the right person. I'm not looking. I'm just, you know, having fun and living my life until that person comes. Where are you originally from? New York. New York. Buffalo, you, bu- upstate New York. Buffalo. How did you get into modeling? Um, well, it's I... Because it's, it's hard for, for African-American women to get into modeling. You rarely see it. Really? Mm-hmm. I don't know because I li- my, first vo- my first job was American Vogue. I was always really fortunate. Um, but I started off and I did this competition, IMTA. You, it wasn't, that's not the mall thing. You know, people come up to the mall and be like, hey, do you want to be a model? No, I, I was living in Buffalo. We, you, you, people weren't getting discovered there. You had to go out and find your dreams. Mm-hmm. And I was a very intense kid. I kind of just always knew, like, I was in a girls group when I was younger. What was um, the name of it? M- Memorial Temple Air. It's been named after the church. It was so weird. <laughs> 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 um, I the, the gospel? Was, yeah. Okay. My father was a pastor. And, um, you know, my mom always had me in the arts and I was always very active in acting and in theater. And so at 13, I looked in the phone book and was like, I'm going to go to modeling school and went to a competition here in New York City. And I got discovered by IMG. Dope. Your baby hairs are immaculate, by the way. Like oh, I'm looking at your you. edges and I'm thinking you know, I was wondering, is that gel? But no, I'm like, no, it that's isn't real. gel. Ooh, them some immaculate baby hairs. I thought Chili had them, but no. (laughs) Jessica White might have the best baby hairs in the game. And you've still been singing, though, because I know you've been in the studio recording. So what's going on with that? Well, soon, my birthday, I'm actually going to release my first single that I wrote called Bipolar Love. Bipolar Love. That sounds terrible. (laughs) <laughs> like that sounds like you're gonna, gonna love get this a song. lot of people in trouble. No, you, no, no. It sounds no. very psychotic. No. <laughs> it sounds like you broke some windows. No, it's a beautiful song actually. You're gonna really love it. What's the premise of it? It's kind of like urban rock. All right. It's urban rock. Do you write it yourself? Yeah, I wrote this song particularly myself. And Ryan Leslie helped me produce it. But I, I did a lot of the music myself with the band. Oh, that's amazing. So are you planning on like going on tour, putting out a full album? Or... Well, wh- right now it's just putting it out there so people can get to love it and learn it and know that I'm a real artist. Mm-hmm. And then we'll take it from there. I just feel like I don't want to push anything down anybody's throat, especially coming from fashion. So we, it just has to be kind of organic, just like me. Just put it out there and let it live. Now, on, on, on the show Family Single, you, you said you were in a relationship and you kept scratching for two years? What? You was itching? I don't know what... No, I, I, I said... The, no, the two-year itch. The two-year itch, yeah, okay. Yeah, she okay. says after you two years... You gotta read the whole thing, it's, it's, Listen, dyslexic. you have to watch the show. I don't show. remember. I, I was on the scratching. Show. What the hell are yeah, you talking you about? On the show, she said she has right. a two-year itch, which means after two years of being in a relationship, <laughs> she gets a little antsy. Oh, oh I, I thought you were actually scratching. I thought you had crabs or something. You gotta stop just reading the news, I thought you had bed bugs. Oh, I was like, why is she itching for two years? You do not need to be talking to no man that's had her itching for two years. You need to read or watch the damn show. Don't just read the notes, sir. <laughs> so so what's the two years? Like, you want to have sex with a guy after two years? No, no, no. After what? two years, I start to, like, my commitment phobe comes up, and I'm ready to move on. That is a personal problem. Have you ever gone to see a psychiatrist for that? I just told you why. This is what the show is about. Okay. She was my therapist, Dr. Darcy. What are some oh. What are some things that you so learned about, about yourself besides <laughs> you knew you were, you know you're a commitment foe? She but was being cheap. What are some other things that you learned about yourself? Um, well, I'm extremely sensitive, and that's another reason why I didn't want to actually stay too long in a relationship because mm. you, my fear of being hurt. 
Right. Aww. And I did open up myself one time to it. But like I said, I still love the guy. And that's like how strong it is. And that was six years ago. Why are you so pessimistic? Like, why do you approach a relationship and feel like you're going to get hurt? No, that's not being pessimistic. That's being fearful. I don't, fear is based off of, you know, you being overly sensitive. You're, I'm always optimistic going into any relationship. But I find that if I don't feel like it's going to go anywhere, then I'll depart from it. But like I said, I had great men. It was just me being, you know, scared to stay you had a there. Wall up. Yeah. But how, how do you know when it's not going to go nowhere? If it's you that's afraid, you don't. Well, that's the reason why I went on this show because I I had a pattern. Mm -hmm. You know, what's up with them? Um, if this guy who you were with six years ago came back and was like, "Listen, mm -hmm. let's really try to make this work." I see you've worked through some of your issues because I would assume now after being on the show mm -hmm. and and trusting mm -hmm. everybody with your innermost feelings and right. secrets and talking to a therapist. Mm -hmm. Now if he's like, okay, I see you've learned a lot about yourself, mm -hmm. let's give it another go around. Yeah, I would totally have his babies. <laughs> wow. There we go. Yeah. So if he's listening, he knows who he is. Yeah, but he can't trust <laughs> Jessica. He's thinking Jessica crazy. No, he's not. <laughs> like she was crazy before. He she knows. probably still crazy now. Is bipolar now. love about him? Yeah, it is. All right. You, wow. Now, I, you, I saw you say once that uh, you realized that you've never been on a bad date. You were always the bad date. So I feel like that you... was a joke, by the way. No, you knew it was you. No, no, no. I was just cracking jokes. I like saying smart like that. She looked like she had a great first date. I saw on the show. They showed a little snippet. That's how when she told him she was a sapiosexual, and she's like, "I know right now if I'm gonna f you or not." <laughs> And what was, was like, his reply? That's what, what reply? I'm talking about. <laughs> no, but that was me having fun. A lot of the stuff on the show, you shouldn't really take me too serious because right. I was just having fun. It was something to do for a month so that I could really figure out what I was going to do with the guy that I was in love with. So the show was only, you only taped for a month? Yeah, only a month. Oh, wow. That's all the time you had? Yeah. Are you still doing modeling stuff, Heavy? No, because I'm trying to transition into acting and stuff, and I wanted, I needed to take a break. I, my fans are really fanatic about me modeling, mm -hmm. and it's really difficult for me to step out and do anything else besides that. So I just had to kind of just take a full break from it. Is that why you changed your name on Instagram and Twitter? Yes, that's exactly why. Because it gets caught up. I mean, I'm trapped in this body, the, you know, the, the image of Jessica White and needing to you trans something? be an artist. And the world not allowing me to do I just have to ignore him. Yeah, allowing right. me to do it. Right. Good job. I to I forgot she was trapped in her body. I'm like, what, what does that mean? You know what that means. You know, you know, you're not in this era. Why? What do you mean? Because it means that means you usually trans something. People say trapped in the body. That's I've never heard here. that. What? Mm -mm. They yeah. know you're not really necessarily trapped in a body. I think that trans people are a gift from God, really, because they know who they are. It's just kind of like God has a special plan for them to create, you know, to do more of a message. It's more, you know, based off of what you have to do here on this earth and the message that you have to, you know, basically show others. I wish we had some cards mm -hmm. here because I want her to read some cards. I can definitely read You read cards, cards too? Yeah, I read cards. Really? I see the dude on the show. She's reading cards. I actually was going to bring my deck. Oh, man. You should have, man. Next I would have loved to get my cards read. Yeah, I can read your cards. Let me ask you a question. You still yeah. practicing celibacy? I'm, I'm celibate at the moment because I'm not in a relationship. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? You had sex this weekend, but as, as of today? No, honestly, yeah. I really haven't. For how long? Uh, since January. If I could orgasm having squats, I'd be celibate, too. You'd be celibate, too? Yeah. <laughs> you I think that's one of the reasons you're single, though? Because, like, you tell guys you're celibate, and they'd be like, oh, okay. On to the I don't tell guys I'm celibate. I sleep with the guy that I'm like I care about. You know, um, I was in a relationship for a year mm -hmm. and he was the only man that I was sleeping with. And we were very happy in that department. And so you're celibate until you meet a guy you want to have sex yeah. with. And why did y'all break up? It just didn't work out. Didn't work. He cheated on you? It just didn't work out. Does that hurt a pretty girl's feelings when they get cheated on? No, I think all men are going to cheat. See, all why, of stop being so pessimistic. Men don't you cheat. Don't, you don't think that you could be with a man that would never cheat? I do. You think all men cheat? I, I think the ones that I've come in contact with have. So that's the only thing I can go off of is what I've experienced. Men don't cheat. You you can cheated on your girlfriend. This narrative. I'm sure you cheated on your girlfriend. Can we change this narrative no. that all men, <laughs> now cheat? You... men don't cheat. Oh, really? No. So you've never cheated on you your girlfriend? You ain't got no cards to read me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you forgive? And, and how many times? How many passes do you give? Yeah, I've forgiven, of course. How many passes? How many times? Uh, Twice. So That's how much you get in a relationship? No, I'm telling you the time that oh. I did get cheated on, I forgave twice. Okay. And then 
walked away after I was just like, and it was a little argument too. It wasn't even that big of a deal, but I had had enough. I realized it built up to it, it built up to me just being like, I'm done. How did you catch him? It was public. Let me Google. Yeah, let me Google this. Justin <laughs> White gets cheated on. Shut up. <laughs> Hold on. Let me Google Justin. Have you ever cheated? White. I don't consider it cheating. Oh. What I did. What, what, oh, what, what, okay, oh, okay. okay, double okay. standard, don't which I don't mind. Yeah, men what have you a did, Jess? Okay, well, so my ex was actually in Ireland shooting a movie. Mm -hmm. Wow, really? Jessica. <laughs> this guy was on the beach doing Oops. something crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> I'm like, whoa. What that music? I don't Sports know. I thought I was just going to the beach like this. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, whoa. <laughs> wow. Okay, your man was in Ireland. Okay, Sean Penn was in Ireland. You are so the worst, <laughs> Angela. All right. Katie Kirk. <laughs> <laughs> and um then I had my ex who I loved. Oh boy. But he was he was like my boyfriend prior to Sean. Mm -hmm. And um he came back in the picture while Sean was gone. So I didn't necessarily consider it cheating. Oh, okay. Oh, that, no, you know what, though? You, it's something to that. It's not cheating if it's See? with a long-time ex. That's what I'm saying. Or a baby mama or somebody who used to be your wife. That's what I'm saying. No, that is, there's so something to that. that's not considered cheating? No, that's not what we just, we, we connected. That's it. Y'all reconnected. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm, I don't have a problem. And that. nothing happened? You just, it was just Oh, a no, picture. a lot of stuff happened okay. there. Wow. Jessica, that is cheating. No, no, it's not. Yes, no. it is. <laughs> No. Did you tell your man you was cheating on He him? had no idea. He did not know what he didn't know. Or now he does. But... Yeah, it's cheating if it's new penis. Right. Now, you know see, and it wasn't. Technically, this guy had my heart. So why, why would your man do that to you? You're dating somebody, he goes to get his over. Sean Penn had sex with Madonna. I would have sex with Madonna, so he should. Oh, okay. You seem like such fun. I don't know why you don't got no man. <laughs> you know people are going to see this show because the title famously single. They're like, damn, why just can't got no man? Right, but yeah. it's not, that's not, and that's exactly why I did it. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why I did it. Who did you connect with in the house the most? Uh, what do you mean by connect? Just Iris. as far as somebody that you still would keep in contact Samaya, with. Samaya, definitely. I love her. She's a sweetheart. I saw that first episode, though. She was getting into it. Did y'all have sex she, or y'all just kiss? No, it was just kissing. In the bathtub, naked. It's just kissing. Just kissing. Why is Samaya Reese though? I mean, I like Samaya, but well, why? like I said, Samaya, she's she's smart. It was either her or Aubrey O'Day. <laughs> either her or Aubrey O'Day. <laughs> or Brandy Glanville. <laughs> were you bored? Like, were you sitting in the house bored? Well, you definitely like, get bored. So Billy yeah, Hayes, nothing but alcohol. Yeah. Yeah, you get bored. So you're just like, I'm gonna I'm kiss. Uh, right, just have fun. Yeah. Just live in the moment. I, my plan was just have fun. Everything is an experience. So basically, with you, it's just all about time and opportunity. No, that's not what it's about. <laughs> <laughs> Would you date right. somebody shorter than you? I have. I've dated someone shorter than Tall me. women love short men for some reason. I don't know about you that. You would prefer that's a taller man, I'm sure. Definitely. Back my father my was 6'3". Back in my day, before I was a committed individual, 5'10 or better. <laughs> that was me. I climb a tree. Yeah. I <laughs> climb so a tree. Stupid. This guy's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> and when did this show come on? To, uh, last Tuesday night. Tuesday night. Mm -hmm. Tuesday, Tuesday nights. Nights. Okay. So the debut e. was on last night on okay. E. Yeah. Any more reality TV? Uh, no, no, no. That's it for that's you? It. It's yeah. a wrap? Yeah. You're kind of upset you did it, aren't you? Yes. You are? Wow. I am. Because I always, I thought that too, because like you have a career. I'm not going to throw When I heard that you were doing reality TV, I was like, I don't remember Jessica falling off. Yeah, no. Yeah. I, 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 But I wanted, I was a, I signed a contract with E. Mm -hmm. And we've been developing shows together. And it was, okay, how am I going to be introduced to the oh, network? Oh, yeah, that boy. I hate when networks do that. Like yeah. you're Jessica White, you don't I have know, to be introduced. But, to but it was just something we kind of just did. And when I, I, gotcha. I had a clause saying that I would or would not do it come, you know, the time of the show when I had to leave. And by that time, I was going through a breakup, and it kind of just emotionally fit in everything gotcha. that I was going through at that time. So mm -hmm. I just went with it. I will say, on the debut episode, you didn't do anything that was at all embarrassing. No, I don't do anything that's embarrassing throughout the show. My, right. Like that's just not. I, I really, I wasn't out there acting, mm -hmm. and I'm not calculated like that. So, and I had never done reality TV show before. So you seem pretty chill. Yeah, and it you just seem smarter like than self, that. So. Just having, I was just in my own little world, really. I wasn't disappointed because I was you. like, you know, I know Jess. I no, she's not going to be on there getting caught up in anything. No, never. They could have put you on the Kardashians reading cards. <laughs> they could have put you on E! News. <laughs> There's a lot of different outlets they have. But now all of that will happen, you know? But I it's kind so. of like one, you have to have gentle steps of a giant. And in this business, I've learned that.
you play the game the way it's supposed to be played. I don't care what other people don't know, but you have to have a plan. And I definitely have one. So well, you've had longevity that. in your career. And, and, so. and I, I can't do that and have longevity without being strategic. And, you know, so this is a part that, of that. Regardless of how big you are in one world, you're always willing to humble yourself in other arenas. That of you course. Do. I mean, I'm going to be doing that throughout the, the course of my career with everything that I want to do. You just got to get there on time. Exactly. You have to get in on time, <laughs> Jessica. You can't be 40 minutes late. I am so sorry, guys. You're right. Just messing with you. Now, they up. also, um, Arby was talking about how big Willis's penis was. How did every she saw his penis? Yeah, she came and told me. Yeah, I saw that. How did, so he just took it out? I don't understand how to. I don't know. You have to ask Aubrey. I don't know how she found that out, but. Aubrey she, talks a lot. Does yeah. size matter, you think? Um. To you, does She's size like, no, matter? She's like, no, you have a smart penis. <laughs> Shut penis up. With some knowledge. No, I mean, <laughs> can you I, connect with a small penis? I don't think I can. Uh, I've no, I can't. I'm we always can't gonna connect. try to be. <laughs> we can't connect. We don't speak the same language. No. Did Arby ever tell you about the guy who prayed over her vagina before they had sex? Oh no way! Because she was yeah, white. She came up here and told us that it was a rapper. And now he doesn't listen to the show anymore. Yeah, he, he won't come on here ever again. Yeah. So leave him alone. The rapper came up here and prayed over her. He prayed over her vagina. vagina like, yeah. threw like, up a please God, watch over me while I penetrate <laughs> this white devil. Because he's like one of those. Yeah. She never told you to ask no, her about it. No, she never said that. Yeah. That is so funny. Has a guy ever prayed over your vagina? No, they don't need to. My vagina is a prayer. But I bet he said, thank you, God. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> he was My screaming. Goodness. We appreciate you joining. That make you want to get saved. <laughs> when a pretty girl be like, my vagina is a prayer. <laughs> get saved. Let me find Jesus so I can find your <laughs> Jesus pot. It's The Breakfast Club. It's Jessica White. Hey, 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 hey. The Breakfast Club. Every weekday morning, tune in.